Hello, Tenthies. Welcome back to another marathon series where we are going to do revision, practice, and mock test for your term two math board exam. So, welcome back, guys. This is Sana Khan, your math master teacher from Vedanta 9th and 10th English channel. So, guys, if you are new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And all those who have joined the video, don't forget to like. And mark your attendance. So, 10th is I know your preparations are going on. And very less time is now left for the board exam. That is tomorrow, right? So, uh, never mind. It doesn't matter how much time we have. It just uh, matters how much courage we have to complete everything, right? And I know you guys have a lot of courage. So, and a lot of determination. So, you can do it. Yes, we all can do it. It doesn't matter how much time is left. If you want to do it, you will do it. And you, if you want to achieve it, you will achieve it. There is no if and but in between at all. Right or not, bachcho, right or not. Hum raat ke teen baje tak jagdayenge, koi dikkat nahi. Ya phir subay teen baje uthke pad lenge, koi dikkat nahi. But hum kal... 100% prepared ho jayenge, right? No matter how much time will be taken, we will be 100% well prepared for tomorrow's board exam. Right, guys? Yes. Yeah. So, this is marathon part 2. In the part 1, we have completed quadratic equation, arithmetic progression, circles and statistics. All those who want to watch the video, the video link is given in the description of this video for Marathon Series Part 1. Now, uh, also reminding you all that right now it's 3 p.m. Just at 4 p.m. your mock test will start. Attempt the mock test if you want to know what type of questions will come in your exam. If you want to know what type of questions will come, easy, medium, hard, this, that, blah, blah, everything you will know in the mock test. So give the mock test 4 p.m. Now, where is the mock test link? Just go to our video, Vedantu 9th and 10th English channel, Marathon 9th and 10th English session going on. In this session, go to the description, mock test 1, mock test 2, mock test 3. Three mock tests are given, right? So, these mock tests have already been conducted. Today, you are having mock test 4 at 4 p.m. 40 marks, total 14 questions, 1 hour 30 minutes duration for the paper. So, just attempt it and you will get to know everything about the question paper. It is a 40 marks just like a board exam paper, okay? Answer key of mock test. Many students were asking. Please note down. Answer key. Everyone, please note down. Answer key will be available on your Telegram channel. On the Telegram channel of class 9th and 10th English, the answer key will be available. The answer key will be available. Yes, Uday. Welcoming you, Kirti Beta. Welcoming you. Welcome, Jaiswal. Uh, it will be uploaded very soon as the mock test starts. Okay? Everyone, come on, come on, come on. Get it ready. Call all your friends. Call everybody. Share this marathon series. It's going to be a long series, but we are going to revise everything. Practice good questions. Also, in today's marathon, First of all, we will revise construction, surface area and volume, applications of trigonometry. We will practice some good type of questions. After this, I have upstream, downstream ka pura explanation with examples. We will also do case study questions in this session itself. Okay. In this session itself, we are going to do case study ke questions and upstream, downstream question with logics. With logic. Okay. Kirti Vita, around one and one or one and a half hour, the answer key will be uploaded. Don't worry. Hi, Jaiswal Utkarsh. Welcoming you, beta. Hi, Vanchika. Welcome to Vedanto. Don't forget to subscribe. Chalo, bhai. Shuru kare fir. All right. Constructions. Now, what is not coming in constructions chapter? You guys know very well. So, in constructions, 
division of line segment in a given ratio is coming division of triangles is not coming it is not in your syllabus okay hi rainy hi sanjay so first we will learn about constructions by dividing a line segment into a given ratio how we do that for this should i show you guys on mathpads.com let me show you. we can do one thing so let's take a question how will you divide a line segment suppose you have a question draw line segment of 6 cm using compass and a ruler find a point p on it which divides it in the ratio of 3 is to 4 6 cm ka line segment banana hai then we have to divide it in the ratio of 3 is to 4 by a point p on it all right how are we going to do it let's observe first of all we will take the scale we will draw a line segment of 6 cm so this is 6 cm name it whatever you want to name it a b 6 cm now after this what you will do there are two methods of doing the construction either you can construct a single line and divide it or you can construct two lines one going above one going below and then divide it both the methods are fine alternate method चलो ठीक है अल्टरनेट मेथड से करते हैं सिंस यू गाइस वांट इट ओके सो हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू डू इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेट वी विल ड्रॉ ए रे लाइक दिस अबव और लेट्स ड्रॉ इट बिलो चलो वी विल ड्रॉ अ रे बिलो लाइक दिस ऑल राइट नाउ वी विल सिंपली मेजर द एंगल हाउ डू वी मेजर द एंगल somebody was asking how to copy the angle so please observe how can you copy the angle simply you will draw an arc that is cutting the given ray now at point b draw the same arc on this side of the line segment all right now measure these two points measure these two points like this everybody observe how am i keeping it measure these two points lock your rounder now put this at point a and cut the arc again once you have cut the arc now join these two points by a ray done if you want you can name it this can be ac this can be bd ray now what you have to do how many ratio what is the ratio 3 is to 4 is the ratio so basically first you have to find out in how many parts you will want to cut you want to cut it into 3 plus 4 7 parts you want to cut it into 7 parts 3 here 4 from there now you simply let's change the color of our rounder now you simply take your rounder you choose an arc of your wish whatever you want okay you choose an arc of your wish now on this line on which line cut ac into three parts cut bd into four parts just cut ac into four parts cut bd into four parts okay so this is first part again we will jump and come here second part again we will jump and come here third part okay now go to bd on bd you will cut it into four parts one yeah two three and four i can't move my rounder four parts then yes seven parts we will cut it after that now we have cut it into three parts here four parts there yes you have to write down steps of construction all right also if you want you can name it b1 b2 b3 b4 
a1 a2 a3 now simply you will join b4 with a3 like this once you have joined b4 with a3 this is your point p construction done okay that's all chalo now next is construction of circles tangents okay so construction of tangents to a circle they can be at an angle at a measurement at a distance whatever they have given in the question depends on that for example how you have to do the construction suppose you have a circle you want to draw a tangent sorry what will you do you will you have a point p so from this point p join the center of the circle once you have joined the center of the circle construct perpendicular bisector of po once you have constructed perpendicular bisector of po you will have point m then at point m at m construct circle of radius pm and once you draw the circle it will intersect the given circle at two different points and once you jo join these two points pq and pr they are the tangents to the circle all right all right which problem kulbir haan ji riya yes 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 aapka answer agar root mein aaya to root mein chhod do koi dikkat nahi hai beta koi dikkat nahi hai okay next is draw a pair of tangents to the circle of radius 4.5 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 45 degree now this is an interesting question observe what i am saying first you will draw the circle draw circle whose radius is 4.5 cm first you will draw the circle whose radius is 4.5 cm all right after that once you have drawn the radius of the circle 4.5 cm now at point o construct 135 degree angle why are we constructing 135 degree angle because if this is 90 this is 90 this is 40 then 45 then obviously central angle will be 135 construct 135 degree so that you get another radius so that is it another radius which is inclined to the previous radius at 135 degree and once you have got two radius at point a construct 90 degree at point b construct 90 degree and then when you extend and join them you will get point p at 45 degree so you are doing it in reverse direction you are first drawing central angle 135 degree then two radius inclined at 135 degree then from the radius you are constructing perpendicular lines which are meeting at a point and that point is point p at 40 making 45 degree angle outside all right yes shri vardhan beta i will show you case based question don't worry i will show you case based question theek hai chalo now let's revise surface area and volume there are only formulas and formulas and formulas in this chapter right sabse pehle aata hai cube cube ka curved surface area is 4 into side square total surface area is 6 into side square and volume is side whole cube cuboid is two times uh, curved surface area is two times of height into length plus breadth total surface area is two times of lb plus bh plus hl volume is length into breadth into height cone is curved surface area is pi r l where l is the slant height r is the radius h is the vertical height of the cone total surface area is pi r into l plus r and volume will is 1/3 of pi r square h yes aditya i will ask my channel manager to upload the pdf cheat sheet ka i will upload i will upload okay queen jyoti you are a queen don't be scared beta you will definitely kill it okay yeah yeah i will upload the pdf of all the sessions and uh, what is this 112 watching and 59 likes how will that work come on guys the previous marathon got more than 300 likes let's make this video also reach 300 likes all right chalo next is surface area and volume of a sphere so sphere is total surface area 4 pi r square volume 4/3 of pi r cube 
Hemisphere is 2 pi r square, total surface area is 3 pi r square and volume is 2 third of pi r cube. Surface area and volume for cylinder curved surface area is 2 pi r h, total surface area is 2 pi r into r plus h and volume is pi r square h. And that's all is there in this chapter. Now let's solve some questions. Kanjusi kar rahe sab, sahi kaha Uday. Okay, let's solve some questions now. A circus tent is cylindrical. A circus tent is cylindrical up to a height of 3 meter and conical above it. And cone is there above it. If the diameter of the base is 140, that means the radius is 70 and slant height is 53 meter, find the total canvas used for making the tent. Since they are asking you, total canvas used so what will you find out you will find out total surface area right what will you find out total surface area now for total surface area what is the formula jaldi se batao not total surface area basically basically curved surface area because base is not there now when base is not there the total surface area is not calculated curved surface area is calculated because the tent is only on the curved face right so what is the curved surface area we have for cone pi r l and for cylinder very good 2 pi r h so now simply put everything in the formula so this is l and then curved surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h curved surface area of cone is pi r l add them put the value so L is given 53 meter, R is given 70 meter and uh, height is given 3 meter. Height is given 3 meter. Put everything over here in the formula. Solve it to get the answer. Okay. Hi Shrikanta Vida. So sorry but this week we are not having class 9 ka session because class 10 is, has taken all the space because of board exams. All right, next question based on volume of combination of solids. If you have multiple type of solids and you want to find out total volume, what will you do? Same thing, same formula, everywhere same. Hey na? Chalo. No, Shubha beta, not yet, not yet beta, not yet. I will tell you soon. A right circular cylinder having a diameter of 12 uh, cm and the height of 15 cm is full of ice cream. The ice cream is to be filled in cone of height 12 cm and diameter 6 cm having a hemispherical shape on the top. Find the number of such cones which can be filled with the ice cream. For this you have to find out volume of cylinder divided by volume of Cone plus volume of hemisphere. That's all you have to do. Srivartan Veda, solve the mock test and you will know what type of questions are going to come. Okay. Let's find out the volume of cylinder. The diameter is given 12 centimeters. So the radius will be 6. Height is given 15. So volume of cylinder will be pi r square h. Pi into 6 square into 15 is 545. Similarly, radius of ice cream cone is given 3 cm, height is given 12 cm and slant height is also given in the question. No, but not required, not given in the question. Yeah. So, volume of the conical part will be 1 third of pi r square h, that is 36 pi and hemisphere will be 2 third of pi r cube, so it is 18 pi. When you add them, you will get 54 pi. So, our final answer is 540 pi divided by 54 pi, pi pi cancel, 54, 54 cancel, 10 cones, ice cream cones is the answer. No Rohan, we are getting 10, we are getting 10. Too much time to understand the question. It's all right, Swamiya Beta. If you feel that you are taking too much time to solve the question, it's all right. Because if you're spending time on understanding the question, it's good. Otherwise, if you understand it wrong, solve it wrong, waste your time there, cut it and write it again, that is like a more time wastage. Right? So it's good that you're taking time to understand the question. Take your time 
इतना भी हरी नहीं होता है ओके चलो नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन कन्वर्जन ऑफ अ सॉलिड शेप टू अनदर सॉलिड शेप हाउ डू वी डू दैट ओके मीन ऑफ फर्स्ट प्राइम नंबर फर्स्ट प्राइम नंबर इज टू बेटा टू का मीन क्या निकालोगे आप ये स्टडी माई सेल्फ वेलकम बैक इट्स अगेन अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन देर इज अलेंडर हुज हाइट इज ट्वेंटी मीटर डायमीटर इज सेवन मीटर देर इज अ क्यूब ऑइड whose uh, breadth is 14 length is 22 and height is as now they are asking if you spread out this on the in the shape of a cuboid what will be the height of cuboid very simple question volume of cylinder will be equal to the volume of a uh, cuboid now simply you have to do length into breadth into height is equal to pi r square h now put everything in the formula and get the value of h easy question easy or not yes easy right yes jyoti it's a very famous question you know when i was in my school time at that time also this question came in paper so it's a very famous question <laughs> that's why everybody teaches it all right ujwal next is applications of trigonometry it's a very easy chapter in this chapter you have only learnt about angles of elevation and angle of depression when you look up through a line of sight when you look up to an object the angle formed is called angle of elevation when you look down with the line of sight to the object then the angle formed is called angle of depression to calculate the value of angle of depression or angle of elevation we use the formula of tan theta because tan theta is equal to height divided by base this is the formula that we use for solving any type of question yes all right so let's do one question based on this the angle of depression of two ships from the top of the lighthouse and on the same side of it are found to be 45 and 30 degree if the ships are 200 meter apart find the height of the lighthouse simple sa question kulbir beta in the previous lecture we have done circles you can watch that session i think you were not there so for example now they have given you angle of depression now whenever angle of depression is given you can always convert it into angle of elevation from the given point because for parallel lines alternate interior angles are equal so this will be 45 this will be 30 now you simply apply tan theta formula tan 45 degree will be ab upon bc so it will be height upon x therefore x will be equal to h and in right angle triangle abd tan 30 degree will be height upon base base is 200 plus x so 1 upon root 3 will be height upon x plus 200 riya beta you want time to solve okay you have time to solve chalo solve this equation solve this equation come on solve this equation 1 by root 3 is tan 30 degree ab is height base is bd what will be bd 200 plus x put everything in the formula and then form an equation for the value of h so that you can get the value of h and x both okay chandana be uh, beta writing therefore statement is a very good habit it's not at all compulsory not at all compulsory it's just a good habit if you do it it's very good for you if you don't do it it's all right new marks will not be cut okay rohan and karan has got the answer praveen ka doubt where is praveen ka doubt oh, praveen ka doubt i can't see it two poles of equal height are standing opposite to each other on equal side which is 80 meter wide oh praveen beta we have i have solved this question previously in one of my session previous year questions mein i think in one of my sessions i have solved this question aap ek baar dekh lo theek hai praveen i have already solved this question i think in previous year question i have done it watch that session please is solving adi sharma important yes sajeev but you can't ask that question now because tomorrow is the exam now you can't solve it 
रियल मी नॉट इग्नोरिंग यू ऑफ कोर्स कटेगा नहीं कोई माइनस वन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर टू रैशनलाइज रूट इन द डिनोमिनेटर ऑलवेज तो फाइनली इट विल बी टू हंड्रेड इंटू रूट थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन थ्री माइनस वन सो इट विल बी टू सेवेंटी थ्री मीटर अप्रोक्सीमेटली ठीक है हाँ जी सर्कल चैप्टर करवा दिया करवा दिया ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू शिप्स आर देयर इन द सी ऑन इधर साइड प्रवीण बेटा जो क्वेश्चन आप पूछ रहे थे ना दिस क्वेश्चन इज समॉट सिमिलर टू इट सो प्लीज ऑब्जर्व देर आर टू शिप्स शिप वन ऑन दिस साइड शिप टू ऑन दिस साइड यस रिया सो इफ दे आर मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ डिप्रेशन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव दैट मीन्स एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन विल ऑल्सो भी फोर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री हियर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वेंट आउट सिक्सटी डिग्री हियर देन we have a pole of height 200 meter so it's simple put this as x and put this as y calculate the value of x with the help of tan 45 degree so tan 45 degree will be ab upon bc so bc will be 200 meter so this is 200 meter similarly in this triangle tan 60 degree will be ab upon bd so ab is 200 bd is y get the value of y y will be 200 upon root 3 so 200 into root 3 upon 3 that's your answer now simply at the end add 200 with 200 root 3 upon 3 you will get your answer ravi beta you know what uh it is totally up to you how much you have practiced okay when i was in school i used to follow assumed mean method because assumed mean method is much easier it makes your calculation easier so when i was in class 10 i used to follow assumed mean method so according to me that method is better it makes your calculation easier but uh, if you feel that it is increasing your time and you are not that habitual of solving it then it's all right you solve it with direct method also theek okay? <laughs> hai हाँ जी रिया बेटा अगर बिल्कुल लास्ट में मिस्टेक होगा तो बिल्कुल हाफ मार्क्स कट होगा ठीक है निवेदिता बेटा आई डेंट सी योर क्वेश्चन बेटा आई कॉन्ट सी इट वेर इज इट कैन यू राइट इट अगेन ऑल राइट ओके रोहन दैट्स गुड चलो भाई सो दैट वाज ऑल अबाउट द थ्री चैप्टर्स now all those who want to learn upstream and downstream ka question i am going to teach you upstream and downstream listen to me very carefully after this it will be 100% clear to you nobody will have any doubt that's my guarantee okay so everybody just stop asking doubts in the live chat and listen with full concentration to what i am saying okay all those who who want to learn upstream and downstream now it is on your demand you asked me to explain it so i am explaining it so just listen very very carefully it's very easy okay now what is upstream upstream is basically if your river is flowing in this direction your boat is going in that direction what is downstream downstream means if your river is going in one direction your boat is also going in the same direction that is the meaning of upstream and downstream that is the meaning of upstream and downstream riya beta after this i am going to do case study after upstream and downstream i have very good case study question so wait for that don't go now wait for that okay now in there are two things first thing is speed of boat in still water speed of boat in still water and we write it as v b another thing is speed of boat or you can say simply speed of stream speed of stream so speed of stream is vs speed of boat 
स्पीड ऑफ स्ट्रीम ये निवेदिता अंडरस्टूड नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अप स्ट्रीम अप स्ट्रीम सो वी यू वॉट इज वी यू फाइनल स्पीड अप स्ट्रीम फाइनल स्पीड अप स्ट्रीम हाई जय बेटा हाई डोंट डोंट स्पैम विथ हाई एंड हेलो लिसन केयरफुली अप स्ट्रीम स्पीड इज सिंस दे आर इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो देयर स्पीड विल कैंसल दे आर इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो देयर स्पीड विल कैंसल सो इट विल बी स्पीड ऑफ बोट माइनस स्पीड ऑफ स्ट्रीम नाउ ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ऑलवेज स्पीड ऑफ बोट विल बी ग्रेटर देन स्पीड ऑफ स्ट्रीम वाई बिकॉज इफ द स्पीड ऑफ बोट इज नॉट ग्रेटर इट विल नॉट मूव ना सपोज योर स्ट्रीम इज फ्लोइंग विथ टेन किलोमीटर पर आर योर बोट इज फ्लोइंग विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर देन ओनली इट विल एबल टू मूव If your boat is having less speed than water, then water will push your boat. It will not be moving, right? So therefore, upstream is speed of boat minus speed of stream, and speed downstream. This is downstream will be speed of boat plus speed of stream. That's the only concept you have in upstream and downstream. only concept only these two formulas nothing else is there nothing else okay now when we are talking about upstream so upstream so v upstream is equal to distance upstream divided by time upstream similarly for downstream what will be the formula downstream speed downstream is distance downstream upon time downstream understood understood now put in the it in the formula what will you get speed upstream is speed of boat minus speed of stream is equal to distance upstream upon time upstream time taken it can be different right similarly speed of boat plus speed of stream is equal to distance downstream upon time downstream now what type of question will come in the paper let us do this question this is a very simple question let us practice this yes uday you are right a boat can cover 10 km upstream and 5 km downstream quickly everybody write down what is given in the question in the question they have given distance upstream is 10 km distance downstream is 5 km in 8 hours what is the meaning of in 8 hours it means time upstream plus time downstream is 8 hours time upstream plus time downstream is 8 hours thank you smita veda theek hai and ji then finally what they have given speed of stream is 2 km per hour vs is 2 km per hour what is vb is asked in the question what is the value of vb that is asked in the question now let us solve this question okay they have given td plus tu is equal to 8 hours now what is the formula of time time is equal to distance upon speed all of you know that time is equal to distance upon speed theek hai now what is the formula of time downstream time downstream is distance downstream upon speed downstream plus distance upstream upon speed upstream is equal to 8 hours what is the distance downstream the distance downstream is uh 5 km what is the speed speed will be vb plus vs plus distance upstream is 10 km speed will be vb minus vs is equal to 8 all of you understood till here now let us suppose that vb is equal to x vb ka value humne x mark liya hai so the equation will be 
फाइव अपॉन एक्स प्लस टू प्लस टेन अपॉन एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू एट सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन मल्टीप्लाई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाय फाइव एक्स माइनस फाइव टू ज टेन प्लस टेन एक्स प्लस टेन टू ज ट्वेल्व अपॉन एक्स प्लस टू इंटू एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू एट टिल इयर एवरीबडी इज क्लियर टिल इयर ऑल ऑफ यू आर क्लियर टाइम डाउन स्ट्रीम टाइम अप स्ट्रीम डिस्टेंस डाउन स्ट्रीम अपॉन स्पीड डाउन स्ट्रीम डिस्टेंस अप स्ट्रीम अपॉन स्पीड अप स्ट्रीम ठीक है सो फाइव अपॉन वी बी प्लस वी एस टेन अपॉन वी बी माइनस वी एस वी आर डूइंग क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन आफ्टर दिस वॉट वी विल गेट let me do it here because there the space is not there so now we are getting 5x 5x 5 km down stream ha and then 10 km up stream right 5 2 the oh so so 20 plus 10x is equal to 8 into x square minus 4. Why x square minus 4? Because this will be x square minus 4. x plus 2 into x minus 2 is x square minus 4. Okay. Now simply solve it. So 5x plus 10x is 15x minus 10 plus 20 is plus 10. Is equal to eight x square minus eight four the thirty two, right? In between plus or minus, Visha, my dear, I didn't get your question. I didn't get your question. So it will be eight x square minus thirty two minus ten plus fifteen x is equal to zero. So it will be eight x square plus fifteen x minus Forty-two is equal to zero. That is your quadratic equation. You can solve to get the value of x. Okay, Priya, beta. I am not teaching it on my own. Students asked me to teach it. That is why I am teaching it. Okay, just give me one second, but so just give me one second. Yeah, you guys asked me to explain upstream and downstream. That's why I am explaining upstream and downstream. Okay, is it going to come in your exam or not? I'm not sure about it. It I'm not sure about it. You asked me to explain, so I'm explaining. It was my duty. All right, guys. So you can try this question on yourself and see if you are able to do it or not. Okay. For example, speed of boat in still water is fifteen kilometer per hour. That means V S is given fifteen. It can go thirty kilometer upstream. Distance upstream is thirty, and return downstream to original point. Distance downstream is also thirty kilometer. In four uh, uh, hours and thirty minutes. Total time taken going up, coming down four hour and thirty minutes. That means T U plus T D is given four point five hours. Find the speed of the Stream. Oh, so sorry. Speed of boat was given. Speed of stream is asked. Again, same type of question. Speed of boat is given. Speed of stream is asked. Same to same logic will be used. Same to same logic will be used. All right. Minus fifteen x will be. Um. Yes. Thank you for pointing it out. Minus fifteen x will be correct. Correct. थैंक यू किसने पॉइंट आउट किया था राजेश कुमार थैंक यू बेटा ऑल राइट गाइस नाउ इफ यू गाइस वांट टू प्रैक्टिस केस स्टडी क्वेश्चन हियर आई हैव अ केस स्टडी क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन कम इन योर एग्जाम सो केस स्टडी नंबर 1 इन अ स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स thought of planting trees in and around the school to reduce noise pollution and air pollution case number 1 it was decided that the number of trees that each section of class will plant will be same as the class in which they are studying for example class 1 will plant one tree of one section class 2 will plant two trees class 3 will plant three trees till class 12 case number 2 is 
each class will plant two trees double that is class 1 will plant two class 2 will plant four class 3 will plant six class 12 will plant 24 and so on everybody take your time to read the question read the question i don't have an example right now with me harsha i will try to take up a, it uh, in the doubt solving session okay Yes, Disha. This is case study question. Sab the question padliya. All of you have read the question. All of you have read the question. Equation ke beech mein plus aayega ya minus aayega. Kaun se equation ke beech mein Visha beta? It depends on the question na. Agar aapko total time diya hai to aap add karoge. To plus aayega. Okay. All of you understood the question? So now, what you have to do? No, you don't need frequency distribution table. Udai. It is AP ka question. Did you guys think that it is statistics ka question? Statistics ka question? No, it is not statistics ka question. It is AP ka question. No, Shlok Beta, not this year. Arithmetic progression ka question. Which is basically here telling you what is the series option A, B, C, D. Who's gonna tell me what is the AP formed by for condition one? What is the AP formed for condition one? Think what is the AP formed for the first condition. Option B. Very good. Class 1, 1 tree. Class 2, 2 tree. Class 3, 3 tree. Class 12, 12 trees. Very nice. So, calculate if there are two sections of each class, how many trees will be planted by the students? First of all, Aapko number of trees diya tha, 1 tree, 2 tree, 3 tree, till 12 tree. So this is an AP ka question. Now they are asking you, if every class is having 2 sections, the total number of trees planted, total trees will be SN, right? So it will be how much? Option B. Think again. Shri Vardhan beta, this is arithmetic progression ka question. Very simple question. They are asking you total number of trees. Total. Total is what? Sum. Sum is what? Sum of n terms. Right? No uh, beauty beta aapko answer likhna hoga. You have to write down the answer in your paper. Option D. Wrong answer Visha and Gigi. Chalo, let me show you what you have to do. Sum of n terms is n by 2 into a plus nth term. That is the formula. What is n by 2? 12 by 2. What is the first term? 1. What is the last term? 12. Let's add it. 6 into 13. 6 3 is 18. 8 carry over 1. 6 1 is 8 plus 1 7. Now they are asking you if there are two sections what will you do? Two sections means two times of SN. Total number of trees twice. So it will be two times of 78. 8 2 is a 16. 6 carry over 1. 7 2 is a 14 plus 1 15. 156. Very good. Very good. Very good. Hi Tamiza. Welcome Beta. Very unique name. Next question is. If there are three sections, what will you do for condition number one? Same procedure. If there are three sections, we will find out 3 into SN. Anna? If there are three sections, we will find out 3 into SN. 3 into 78. What is it? What is it? I Gupta Lakshmi. Hey, da, beta, you have you should have told me before now. I would have uh, brought a question for this session. 
234. Very good. See, case based questions are not that tough. Next, refer to condition number 2. If there are two sections of each class, how many trees will be planted by the students? Again, two times of SN, but for the condition number 2. So, for condition number 2, what is the arithmetic progression? Condition number 2 ke liye, what is the arithmetic progression? Arithmetic progression for condition number 2 is class 1, 2 trees, class 2, 4 trees, class 3, 6 trees, class 4, 8 trees and so on. Class 12, 24 trees, double the trees, double the trees. Option A is the wrong answer, right? So, this is the arithmetic progression. A is 2 and nth term is 24. So, the value of Sn will be n by 2 into A plus nth term. So, it will be 24 by 2 into 2 plus, what is the nth term? Uh, sorry, 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 not 24 by 2, 12 by 2. Yeah, 12 by 2 into 2 plus 24. So, this will be 6 into 26. Because 2 plus 24 is 26. C is not also not the right answer. Question the me aara everybody. 12 by 2 into first term plus last term. 2 plus 24, 26. 6, 6 is 36. 6 carry over 3. 6, 2 is 12. 13, 14, 15. 156. But in the question, two sections are asked. So your final answer is 2 times of SN. So, how much will be 2 times of SN? Multiplied by 2, 6 to the 12, 2 carry over 1, 5 to the 10, plus 1, 11, 2 to the 3, plus 1, 3, 3, 1, 2 is the answer. Got it? I don't have much idea about it, Solaris Beta. I will try to find out about it. And the last question is again 3 sections. So, it was 3 into SN, that is 3 into. 156. Option A. 468. Hi, Ilma. Hi, Yaten. Hi, Vivek. Alright. Next case study question. So, it's a very famous question. Varun has been selected by his school to design a logo for the sports day t-shirt for student and staff. The logo is like this, blah, 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 blah. The entire story is given. The main point is there is a circle inside a triangle. The triangle is having side length for measuring 12, 8 and 10 centimeter respectively. You have to find out the value of AF, AD, FC, CE, EB, BD and a lot more things. Let's start. Mock test, yes, mock test is going to start very soon. I will end this class at 4 p.m. and 4 p.m. you all can attempt your mock test, okay? I will end it this class 4 p.m. Se pehle. Hi, Ishita. Now, in the question they're asking, what is the value of AD? Who can solve this question? See, what is the question basically? First of all, all of you know that tangents to a circle are equal, right? So, let this be x, x, y, y, z, z. All right? All right? Now, in the question, they have given you um, a, b is 12, a, b is 12, a, c is 10, a, c is 10 and this is 8. Okay. So, in the question they have given you, x plus y is 10, y plus z is 8, z plus x is 12. Hai na? Because this is AC, BC, AB. It is given in the question. Hai na? It is given in the question. Now, there is one more thing that we know, right? One more thing is given in the question. The side lengths are given, right? Now, simply let's add all of these. Add all the values. If you add all these values, what will you get? 2 times of x plus 2 times of y plus 2 times of z is equal to 10 plus 8 plus 12. 
so it will be 22 22 plus 8 30 so to uh, if i take out 2 as common x plus y plus z will be 30 divided by 2 so x plus y plus z will be 15 right x plus y plus z is 15 now what is the question asking ad ad is x you need the value of x so when x plus y plus z is 15 and from this equation from equation number 2 y plus z is 8 when I subtract this on both the side y y cancel z z cancel x is equal to 15 minus 8 what is 15 minus 8 7 so what is the value of x 7 centimeter okay everybody understood Similarly, what is the value of BE? BE ka value has Z. How will you find out Z? By subtracting X plus Y. So, X plus Y plus Z is 15 and X plus Y is 10. Subtract it. X, X cancel. Y, Y cancel. 15 minus 10. Z is equal to 5. So, BE is equal to 5 centimeter option B. And similarly, what is the value of CF? CF will be Y. And how will you calculate the value of Y? Simply by subtracting uh, XZ. XZ is 12. So it will be 15 minus 12. Y will be 15 minus 12 and that is 3 centimeters. So option D is 3 centimeters. Right. Now in the same question, if they ask you, if the radius of the circle is 4 cm, find the area of triangle OAB. If the radius of the circle is 4 cm, what is the area of triangle OAB? Very simple. Area of triangle OAB is equal to half of base into height. So, what is the base? Base is AB and height is radius. Put everything in the formula. What is the value of AB? AB is 12 cm. What is the value of radius? Radius is 4 cm. 2, 6 are 12. 6, 4 are 24. So, our right answer is option C, 24. Hi, Anandi. What's up? Hi, Dark Venom. And lastly, the area of triangle ABC, that is this triangle, what will it be? Similarly, you find out area of this triangle and area of this triangle. So, find out area of first triangle, area of second triangle, area of third triangle and you can uh, find the total ABC ka area. CK, all of you? Understood? Understood? What you have to do? Half of base into height. 24. Yes, Shomya, mock test is coming. Shomya is very excited for mock test. You should be, you should be. <laughs> all right, that's all, but so for today's session, that was all the help I could give from my side to you all. Now, remember, if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. If you believe that, Tomorrow you are going to score 40 out of 40. You can get 40 out of 40. You just have to believe in yourself. Work hard for it. And you can easily achieve anything. Right guys? So all the very best for your term to board exams. And don't worry. I am also going to take a doubt solving session today at 6.15pm. So if you have any doubts, you can join me at that time as well. All right. Now, everybody, it is 4 p.m. Char baj gaye, lekin mock test abhi baki hai. <laughs> so, it's 4 p.m. And now it's time for our mock test. Let's go to the description of the video. Chalo. Hum apne video ke description mein chalte hai. Chalo, bachcho. Chalo, chalo. So, jaldi se aap log is video ke description mein jao. Is video ke description mein aapko mock test ke links diye ho. Naika Samus. Aap kisi ke favorite dance. And all of your favorite brands. Okay. Uh, mock test 1, mock test 2, mock test 3. 3 mock tests are given to all of you. Then simply click on any of the link and start your test. Okay, 40 marks ka paper hai, 14 questions hai. 
वन आवर थर्टी मिनट्स दिया है सो फोर टू सिक्स पी एम यू कैन सॉल्व इट क्विकली एवरीबॉडी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द लिंक राइट नाउ एंड स्टार्ट गिविंग योर टेस्ट ठीक है स्टार्ट गिविंग योर टेस्ट राइट नाउ चार बज गए भाई एवरीबॉडी गेट्स इट रेडी एंड ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल द बेस्ट Tell me at 6:15 p.m. how was your mock test and what type of questions did you guys get? Okay, चलो भाई. Thank you so much, everyone. See you all in the next class. Don't forget to like this video, share the video with your friends, and ask them also to join in every day. All right. Bye bye. Bye guys. Ta da.